I'm gonna help you make it easy to decide what type of USB you should buy. There are thousands of USB hub configurations out there on the market, and today, I wanna make sure you pick the one that's gonna fit your needs. Before we can figure out which one is right for you, we first need to figure out which type is actually right for you, because there's a couple different types. So let's start with the USB 2.0, uh, versus the USB 3.0. Which one is right for you? The USB 2.0 is actually less expensive. So that's one big thing. It has less wires in there, but we're gonna to get to that here in a second. Then a 3.0, which is a little bit more expensive with it. So, but the 2.0 and 3.0 are all about the speed and also the processing power with it. So USB 2.0 is perfect things for like your mouse, your keyboard, and the transfer data speed on that right there is about 480 megabits per second and give you power up devices up to 500 milliamps, which is also indicated by a uh, black indicator inside of the hub, inside that interior. The USB 3.0 is perfect for things like fast speeds, like external hard drives, for example, flash drives, and it transfers data at speeds of up to 4.8 gigabits per second, and also powers up to 900 milliamps because it doubles the amount of wires within the cable uh, this is indicated by a blue indicator on the inside of it, on the interior. But choosing 2.0 versus 3.0 shouldn't be the B ends all kind of choice because you also might notice that there are also options on the hub, whether it's gonna be powered or unpowered. Do you really need a power hub? Power USB hubs come with their own AC adapters like right back here. So you can kind of see where it's gonna go ahead and plug into the wall for you. And it can actually go ahead and run on external power source. They do not come with any kind of power from the laptop or your computer. While the unpowered USB hubs will take all the power it needs uh, from your laptop or your PC. You still wanna use a power USB hub if you're planning on running several devices at the same time off the hub, or if you are running devices that operate on high voltages. We're talking about flash drives, hard drives, printers, and scanners. Now you think that powered USB is the way to go, you might wanna slow down a little bit right here because you might also have found out that there's another decision to make, one with a switch, or without a switch. Yes, a switch is part of a device that turns on and off the hub to allow more power to go to the rest of the devices that are in use. It's usually a button that looks like this here on the hub that you just press to go ahead and turn it on or off. There are even more hubs available with additional features that also include additional external ethernet ports that bring the internet into your life, SD card ports that import your favorite photos, and even HDMI ports to attach to additional displays for your screen. Now that we have that, all that covered, let's talk about which one's gonna be right for you based on the features and the price. If you're only looking at on a keyboard and a mouse and small devices that don't require much power, then you can go ahead and go with a basic 2.0 USB hub or even a USB 3.0 unpowered hub will work for you. And that's gonna save you a ton of money. In fact, my suggested hubs are in the description below or here of all these options here we're talking about and even more. If you're looking for devices to use power, then you need to go ahead and look at USB 3.0 power hubs, especially if you're gonna be running devices such as like your backup hard drives and flash drives. There are hubs available that also give you additional monitors too as well. USB 3.0 ports, only using a USB-C slot on your computer or a USB-A. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that follow button for more content coming up here soon. And let's try for 13 likes on this video. Please and thank you.